substitution on the court. So both teams making some changes here. Down low. Watanabe. Using his post moves to get the two points. Well, Brent, something that can get overlooked. How a player fits in on a team can make all the difference. Well, that fit, B.A., depends on where your team is in, in the arc of your competitiveness. So if you need one guy to put you over the top and you're a team winning 50 games, then you've got to get the right fit. Otherwise, really, teams and rosters are exploring talent, developing talent, until they get to that point where fit becomes the foundation for what they're going to do for something special. Here's Watanabe. And he makes it. Beal's got a second bucket on the night. And Beal just taking it. All the contact, great momentum and balance on that play. And the foul on the shot. So he'll take two from the free throw line. And the foul called on the Phoenix Suns. Brent, you just never know what you're going to see from Zion when he's on the floor. Well, it's been so great. I mean, exhilarating when he's healthy. I just wish that that would be something we'd see more and more often. Often, easily one of the most dominant forces in the NBA. Phoenix calls timeout. And now about three minutes gone in the second quarter here. Here's Durant. The Pelicans pull it in. So weird. Sometimes when you get that much time, it can throw you off just as much as having no time. And here's Ingram outside. Knocks down the triple. That's been typical of their performance today. They're sharing the ball and creating good shots. Makogi into the lane. Brent, when you look at the Pelicans' 2023 season, health played a big part in their ups and downs. No doubt about it, B.A. So difficult to build a winning culture, or at least a consistent competitive culture, when guys are in and out of that lineup. So consistency is a key. If they get that for their coaching staff, this team has a real chance to make some noise this year. And the shot goes down. And now, almost all their points coming from the paint. Here's Okogi. Outside bowl. Pass to Watanabe. Over Jones. Watanabe can't get it to go. You'd like to see more effective ball movement there. Maybe they can find a way to establish some rhythm in the next few possessions with the extra pass. Now here's Beal. On the take. Down it. Beal's got four points in the quarter. Beal just trying to find the lane to the rim. Something opened up, and he took advantage. There's McCullough with the three. Well, after getting off to a great start, hitting those first two shots, he's definitely regressed a little bit in this quarter. Nice shot by Okogi. How about that shot? Not exactly something drawn up by the coaching staff. And the Pelicans miss again. <laughs> and I'm surprised that didn't go down. I mean, I'm sure he is too. Here's Durant. And it's Phoenix with another. Now, this is the toughest shot, supposedly, in the NBA to get down. Durant's not having much of a problem from the mid-range. Knocks it down from distance. Ingram's got six points. And just executing at a high level. I mean, taking what the defense allows and putting in the work. Basketball IQ is something that gets talked about, but it's importance to a team showing up here, running plays that turn into scores. Both shots good from the strike. Out of bounds. It'll be Phoenix's ball. So it's New Orleans up 15 points as this quarter concludes.
building this lead up in large part because of how well they're shooting it. We're coming right back. Don't go anywhere. And with a big gap on the scoreboard, the second half begins with very different goals for these teams. One side trying to mount a comeback, one side trying to protect their lead. I'm not going to see that very often. The defense in the vicinity, but still, he's not one to blow layups. When you look at what C.J. McCollum brings to the table, a skilled marksman and a calm presence in the locker room. You know, what do you expect from the president of the Players Association? He's got to be regal, he's got to be refined, and he's super polished on and off the floor. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with Allie LaForce. Zion Williamson is a one-man wrecking crew inside. His coach, Willie Green, said, quote, it's incredible his touch when he gets down to the lane with two, three guys hanging on him, and he's still somehow able to find the glass. And he does a great job of finding his teammates as well. And Brian, let's not forget about those dunks either. Oh, definitely not. That's the show. Thanks, Alec. Two on the clock. Bowl, no good. Not a bad shot from the mid-range. The D's giving it to him, and he's usually got the eye in that kind of range. And trust me, when the D's slow to react, he'll be the first guy to make them pay. Well, I know they don't have mobile devices out there for texting, so they might as well talk to one another. Now here's Jones. He's got six. Williamson outside. Inside. Now in Junis. And the dunk by Valanchunas. It's not going to be a soft finish when Valanchunas gets it inside. Count on him going up strong. Here's Durant. Shot to stop the run. Oh, Durant playing big in the paint. Soft interior D, and they've exploited it. Pass to Williamson. And they double up Williamson. Left side Ingram. There's the three. The Suns clear it. Well, that's not a shot he's ever going to pass up, and he shouldn't. Despite the miss, no defender anywhere near him. He's got to shoot that one. Three-pointer. Beal nails it from three. Beal's got nine. And Bradley Beal is going to stretch out a defense with that kind of range. The Phoenix Suns are proof that one smart trade can make a big impact for him. Now, B.A., I'm, I'm going to challenge you here. Is it smart to put Kevin Durant on your team? Of course it is. I mean, that's a blockbuster deal. The franchise went for it. They grabbed the talent. They grabbed one of the best players of all time to join this core to see if they could push themselves to an NBA championship. Here's McCollum. 13 points in the game. And the dunk by Valanchunas. Well, if you go to Lehigh, of course, you're going to make smart plays. McCollum good at sensing when his man was going to be wide open. Back to Booker. Here's Beal. Booker surveying the floor. Oh, yes, sir! That's really too wow. beautiful right there. Wow. Now about Booker going high up for the dunk. Pass to Williamson. And here's Valanciunas. And pull over to help. Ingram on the wing. Nails it from beyond the arc. Nine points in the game. He just takes advantage of the D in a way that very few players playing today can do. Durant takes it in. Soft touch off the glass. Disappointing as a player to have such a great game and still be trailing. Not over yet, though. To the inside. Pass to Jones. McCullum outside. Here's Ingram. Fires for three. Bull grabs the board. So far this quarter, he's been out of sync and might be pressing right now. And that one's good. Durant's got 11 points. Their spacing isn't quite as good as it was in the first half. They may need to hit more threes to stretch that defense. 
CJ McCollum. Shots good by McCollum. <laughs> Just incredible. I mean, he's really making it rain out there, knocking them down one after another. Kind of like he's in his living room right now. He's in the comfort zone. Once he gets that, the defense knows they're in trouble. A dynamic finish, then decides to hang out a little for good measure. <laughs> yep, that's the exclamation point right there. And there's the call on Devin Booker. That'll be a second foul of the game. He didn't have his feet planted. Phoenix calls timeout. One of the stories here, C.J. McCollum. He's getting it done today. Yeah, this guy is torching them. And so far, their defense hasn't responded. So it's New Orleans closing out this quarter with a seven-point lead. Appearing in control, but could still use a little more of a push to feel totally comfortable in this one. The fourth quarter has arrived. So good to have you with us. The Suns trailing. Here's Marshall. It from distance. Oh, what great action we've seen tonight. Hard to imagine a more entertaining game. Well, this is about as high octane a game as you're going to find. A brilliant dunk. And he hangs up there for a while, too. Looks like he's posing for the camera. He's just hanging out, posing for pictures, just making himself at home. Marshall can't hit. Looks like the game plan is they're willing to give him that kind of shot. It worked out for them this time, but if they give it to him again, I, I bet three points are coming. And as it goes out of bounds, New Orleans will keep possession. Here's New Orleans now. They led the game at one point by 20. Their next game is at FedEx Forum in Memphis for a matchup with the Grizzlies. It's the last meeting in a four-game road trip. To the middle. Just four to shoot. New Orleans needs to hurry. Late clock. Williamson, no good. And so it's Aiton with it. He brings it up for Phoenix. Six-point game. Outside Booker. And the Suns get another three. He has been an absolute wrecking ball from outside during this half, guys. Pass to Marshall. Back to Williamson. Stolen by Aiton. And let's take a moment here to get your take, guys, on the scoring so far for New Orleans. Well, you love their unselfish play. Keeping that ball moving, good shot to great. That's winning basketball. Well, the three-point shot has been absolutely huge for them this entire game. And let's be honest, you have to knock down threes to win games these days. Pass to Durant. To the paint. Oh, and the jam by Aiton. And what a comeback. Do they have enough left to maintain this energy and get the win? This is a testament to this team's fortitude, never giving up. Folks, we've got a new ballgame. Drops in the three. McCollum's got 19 points. 12 straight points off threes. This defense is not extending very well. Pass to Aiden. Down low. What a throwdown from KD. <laughs> this has been fun to watch. I mean, they've managed to go on a run just when it looked like this might be over. To the middle. And Aiden with the stuff. How about that? Aiden showing why he was picked first overall. That's a reason. Pass to Valentunas. Kicks it out to Williamson. Stolen by Aiton. Outside Durant. Two minutes remaining in the game. To the inside. 
Aiden, no good. The Pelicans trail. Now Williamson. Three-pointer. Here's Valanciunas. Tries again. And the layup is up and in. Big bucket from the big man as Valanciunas knocks it in. Outside Durant. Pass to Booker. Inside. Stolen by Valanciunas. Now here's Williamson. And the shot counts. He's fouled, and it's a chance for a three-point play. Zion wants these moments, and coming through here. The free throw off from Williamson. And here are the Suns now. They trail by three. Back to Beal. From the high post. He's going to find a way to pull through in the clutch. There's 57 seconds left in the fourth. And the ball out of play. The Suns will have it. Yeah, unfortunately, just poor execution there. You cannot give the ball away at this point in the game. Outside Durant. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Jonas Valanciunas. That's his first foul. And yeah, he, he still was moving at the point of contact. Outside Durant. Pass to Aiden. Back to Durant. Down to five on the shot clock. The Suns need to get off a shot. There is absolutely no fear in his eyes. He loves the moment. I've well, seen that. They're a huge possession, and he nets it. Zion wanted it, and he nailed it. About seven seconds separating the shot and game clock. Pass to Aiden. Back to Duran. Phoenix calls timeout. They trail by one. 17 seconds left in the game. Guys, your thoughts? It's always interesting to see what play a coach has saved for a situation like this. And sometimes not just what a coach draws up, but who he has execute in these moments. Here's Booker. Clock at four. Wide open look. Oh, no good on the dunk! And how about that? Aiton stepping up, wanting the pressure. New Orleans calls timeout. They're down by one. Eight seconds left in the fourth quarter here. All right, guys, what's your take? It's always interesting to see what play a coach has saved for a situation like this. And sometimes not just what a coach draws up, but who he has execute in these moments. Eight seconds left in the fourth quarter. Over to the left wing. Here's Valanciunas. Now it falls! And punishing inside Valanciunas, getting room to do damage. Phoenix calls timeout. They're down by one. One second left in the game. for three free throws. Larry Nance picks one up. You know, not the smartest play a defender can make there. Ooh, it knocks down the clutch free throw. The second one drops. And that gives him a lead. And 
done so, he's good on all three free throws. And that'll put him up two. Not easy to keep your focus when there's so much riding on those free throws. But that was excellent work in the clutch. And the Pelicans call time here. All right, guys, what do you think? Ah, uh, they're in a tough spot. Barely enough time to run the catch and shoot.